and I got to a point where I got sick of, of you know, losing people uh, and I needed to be proactive and I wanted to make something that created a conversation around, uh, around mental health and mental health difficulties. I'm a teacher, I'm a, a secondary school teacher and a, a street artist, but primarily I'm a teacher. Um, and in the first five years of my teaching, I lost five kids to suicide. And that is, that is the sorest thing that I can ever describe to you. Every time I say it, I, it just kind of, I get emotional because it's, those kids are gone. I, I don't see them again. They are lives that have been lost. And I got to a point where I got sick of, of you know, losing people uh, and I needed to be proactive and I wanted to make something that created a conversation around uh, around mental health and mental health difficulties and my language is a visual language and it can add to the conversation in a very nuanced way and I feel it's very important. It was my little way of being active uh, and everyone has, you know, their little way of being active. You know, it's, it's, it's something that has been brushed under the carpet in Irish society for far too long, specifically men uh, and young men, we, we don't talk about how we feel or we bottle up our emotions. We generally only talk about stuff when we're like really inebriated and we're, we don't create spaces or even give the language uh, to discuss what's going on inside in ourselves. The, the primary theme of this piece is stigma and stigma is the biggest barrier uh, that prevents people that have a mental health difficulty from seeking help. Um, and it's stigma that is institutional stigma that's within a community, within a society, but it's also stigma within your friends, your, you know, your, your family. The Darkness into Light event, uh, I've taken part in it in the last number of years. You get up right in the middle of the night, you go down with you know, your mates, with, with people that you know within your community, and you walk for a cause that is incredibly important. It's very rare that a, a community comes together in a moment of quietness and, and in a moment that is so important for the people that live in that community. And I remember Joan, uh, who was the, the founder of Pieta House, I remember a few years ago, she told me a story. She said, imagine if you're a seven-year-old kid that's woken up in the middle of the night and bundled into the back of the car and you come along and you see thousands of people from your you know, town that are on this walk. And then flash forward 10 years, you know, kind of in the future, and that same young girl or young boy is confronted by a mental health difficulty. That door is already open. They have experienced, you know, uh, they've been in the presence where other people have discussed this topic. So by taking part in such a walk, it, it, it helps, and it helps people that might be coming down the line and, and just kind of opens the door, even if it's a tiny bit, it's enough for a conversation to be started.